inside your brain. Your brain is an interesting organ of your body. It's an amazing organ of the body. And uh, there's a limbic system in your brain, and right in the middle of that limbic system is something called the amygdala. And the amygdala is a little almond-shaped thing in the middle of your brain, and part of the function of the amygdala, it's not the only function, but part of the function of the amygdala in your brain is to always be looking for threats around you, always be looking for what might could be damaging or dangerous to you. And so you're living with this orientation. In fact, according to some researchers, about two-thirds of the neurons in your amygdala are always looking for the negative. Only one-third of that little, that little part of your brain and that system in your brain is looking for the positive. Two-thirds are always on the look for something dangerous. If you've got a t- tiger that's about to destroy you, it's probably a good thing that your amygdala is going toward the negative. It's going to make you run, but it's not so good when it comes to to relationships. It's not so good when it comes to the interactions of life. What happens is it puts us in this wiring toward the negative. According to certain researchers, about 80% of our thinking is negative in nature. 80%. It's called the negativity bias, and everybody has it. It's a legacy of a sinful, broken world that we live in. It's a legacy of basic instincts that we have for survival. And it's as, as it has been said, your brain has Velcro for the negative and Teflon for the positive. If you don't know the difference between Velcro and Teflon, one grabs and holds onto and Teflon shields away. And so our brain, like Velcro, grabs the negative and then tends to shield away what is positive in life. Now let's add to it the spiritual dimension. Not only are we wired that way, but there is a devil who's active in our world, active in attacks against us, and the devil traffics traffics in negative. The devil will never give you good news. Let me say that again. The never, devil never comes around and says, hey, I got some good news for you today. Everything the devil is going to say to you is always going to to, to feed into fear and feed into worry and feed into negativity and feed into grumbling and complaining in your life. Why? Because he traffics in the negative. He traffics in the, that sort of that, that addiction too. He wants you to be addicted to everything that could be wrong and bad in your life. Why? Because it moves you out of an atmosphere of gratitude, an atmosphere of praise. That's why we're told over and over again in Scripture that we have a battle that's going on in all of us and the battleground is in our brain, in our mind. We have to take captive our thoughts. Take a look at what Paul says very clearly in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. He says, we demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ.